Hey everyone, Mr. Schachter here to calculate derivatives on a calculator, specifically a Texas Instruments calculator. I've got here the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition, which is a great calculator. Let's get started and see what this thing can do to help us. Um, first of all, at the main screen, you can calculate the slope of a curve at any point, the derivative at a value. So to do that, you just press the math key, and then you go all the way down to number 8, which is end derive. You press enter on that, and this little window is going to come up. And um, the first box is asking you, what is your respect? Okay, so typically we're always going to put an X in there. So put an X in there. And then it's asking you, what is your function? So this is your function f of X. Let's do a nice easy function like X to the second power. And then you have to press the right arrow. And now it's asking you, at what value of X would you like to calculate the slope or the derivative? Let's calculate it at 2. So we'll press enter on that, and it tells me the answer is 4. Real quick, let's just verify that. So if f of x is x squared, then f prime x is equal to 2x, and f prime 2 is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. So the calculator is correct. The slope of x squared at 2 is equal to 4. Okay? You can also calculate derivatives or slope from the y equals menu from a graph. So to do this, you just type your function in, y1, we'll just do x squared. You go to the graph key. Here's our nice curve, y equals x squared. And then you're going to press the second key, and you're going to press calc, which is the trace button. So just press the trace. You go down to number 6, which is dy dx. This is your derivative. You can, plug, you can plug any value of x in now, like 2, and press enter, and it will tell you that the slope at x equals 2 is 4, which is what we just calculated. dy dx just stands for the derivative of y with respect to x. So y being our function and x being our respect. Um, so that works. So that's a nice uh, feature that Calc can do for us as well. Something that's really useful is sometimes you guys have really complicated functions. We're going to have these functions that are really wacky, long, radicals, uh, rationals, just really, really big things. And instead of typing it over and over and over and over again, we can actually just use the calculator to store it and then use y vars to keep bringing it back up. Uh, let me show you. So, for example, let's say we have some wacky function. Um, you know, it's just it's parentheses, 1, 2, 3, 6, whatever, x squared minus 13, what, I'm just hitting buttons, all divided by 2. And that's my function. If I go back to the main menu, I can actually go and calculate my derivative. So math, I'm just going to press the 8 key this time to bring up my derivative. My respect is x. But now instead of putting my actual function, I'm just going to go and get my y var function. So I'm going to press the vars key. I'm going to press the right arrow to y vars. I'm going to press enter on function. And I believe my function was plugged into y1, so I'm going to select y1. And now I can press the right arrow and calculate the slope at 2. And it's going to give me a giant number that otherwise would have been very difficult to find. Um, so that's a nice, useful way to do that. Because let's say I had to do like three questions. You know, I had to go find the slope of the tangent or something. So I had to calculate the slope at 2. What if I also had to calculate the slope at negative 2? You can just type all that in. You can go right here. You can press negative 2 and then enter and you get your slope right there. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a nice way, a nice convenient way to keep something really long and complex stored in your function, uh, in your calculator, and not have to retype it over and over and over again. Okay? Awesome. So the calculator uses something called the symmetric difference quotient to calculate derivatives. And specifically, the symmetric difference quotient is uh, the limit as h goes to 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a minus h all divided by 2h. Now, it turns out that this actually equals f prime a wherever a, uh, f, f prime of a exists. However, if it doesn't exist, your calculator may give you a deceiving answer. So you have to be very careful when you're asking your calculator to compute derivatives. Here's an example. Suppose we ask the calculator to find the slope of the absolute value of x at x equals 0. Okay? Now, we know the answer to this question. The absolute value of x at x equals 0 has a corner point, and therefore it is not differentiable at x equals 0. But if you actually plug this into the calculator, and you plug in math 8x, and you go over here, whoops, and you type the absolute value, which I'm going to go to the catalog to get. It's the first thing in the catalog, x. And we're going to press the right arrow, and we're going to press 0. The calculator actually tells me the answer is 0. This is not true, right? 
This is not true. We know it's not true because we know that at uh, x equals zero, it's not differentiable. Um, the symmetric difference quotient work kind of looks like this as we go. The limit as h goes to zero of zero plus h minus uh, in absolute value, absolute value zero minus h over two h, which is the absolute value of h minus the absolute value of h, which is zero on top, which gives you zero as an answer. Um, this is not true. Understand that the calculator is improperly calculating this because it's not differentiable there, and that confuses the, the calculator. The symmetric difference quotient doesn't pick up on the corner point.